Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to do um, something a little bit different. I think I did this once before, but um, I buy a lot of gear. In fact, I buy the majority of my gear online. And um, I have experience with pretty much the usual suspects. And because of my experiences for different reasons with these quote-unquote suspects, um, I've come to uh, know them pretty well in terms of what they have to offer um, and buying experience. So I'm going to rate um, five sellers that I regularly regularly do business with in three basic categories right from an online gear perspective the first is going to be price of course the second is going to be variety which includes you know supply of merchandise variety and then the third is support which is very important made up of either a combination of phone support and online chat support or um, one or the other, but overall customer support and responsiveness. So with that in mind, let's take category number one, which is price. And the five, let's get this out of the way first, the five online businesses that I will be discussing, and these are in no order, are Amazon Musician's Friend, Sweetwater, Adorama, and Pro Audio Star. So let's first take price. And that's where you can get, you know, the steepest discount potentially, best pricing on a specific item. It might not be across the board, but I'll give you an example. Fender had a big sale uh, several months ago where they were blowing out classic vibes, uh, affinity strats, uh, Telecaster models, you name it. And Pro Audio Star had ridiculous prices. <clears throat> excuse me, ridiculous prices on these models. In fact, I think at one point, Classic Vibes uh, were going for like uh, as low as two and a quarter, brand new. 249 brand new. You could get an open box for 199 It was in pristine condition. Really just crazy good prices. Significantly lower than the used marketplace. And they do have similar pricing on other brands as well. But you have to, you know, shop carefully and look. But Pro Audio Star can come up with shockers in terms of how low they will go on certain models. Uh, the second one, number two, in terms of aggressive pricing and getting fantastic deals on a specific model, is Adorama. They do a real good job, too, of coming out with these shockers occasionally on, uh, on certain models where the price is well below... Um, uh, you know, suggested list, suggested retail price. The third one is one in the same company. It's Guitar Center slash Musician's Friend. Musician's Friend being more of the online only uh, component of Guitar Center. But um, they kind of match each other's price. But they have stupid deals of the day. Um, Guitar Center calls it something a little bit different, where they'll have a certain model of gear on sale for a really really aggressive price so that's another good one you can check out their stupid deals of the day or deals of the day and and come up with something it might not be specifically what you're looking for but if it is you can get a really good deal um, coming in at number four for me is Sweetwater and again they occasionally have sales as well that come in very aggressive uh, and then number five, although they have good pricing, but it's just not on, you know, your, uh, what I call, uh, you know, household name gear. It's a lot of uh, stuff that's budget-oriented is Amazon. And when I say budget-oriented, budget not household names, like um, occasionally they'll have blowout deals on Grote or Grote guitars, E-Art guitars, um, Zuai, um uh, Van Goa. These are names that people that are looking at budget gear are familiar with, but not necessarily um, the average person. And also, you know, every now and then they will have uh, the same deal as, uh, you know, another company. Let's say Sweetwater running a great deal on gear. They'll have the same price or mono price 
and yet you're getting it through Amazon with their, you know, with their um, perks that they have to offer. So, uh, number one pro audio star on price, Adorama, then Musicians Friends slash Guitar Center, Sweetwater, and then Amazon. In terms of variety, inventory, having the item you're specifically looking for, uh, whether it's an amp or a guitar or a bass or whatever the case might be, coming in number one is Sweetwater. They have a phenomenal inventory on gear. Um, they are also an online only seller here, at least in my neck of the woods. And um, great variety. Um, you can pretty much get whatever type of amp you're looking for, whatever type of guitar you're looking for. Number two is Musician's Friend Guitar Center. They have a very, very good inventory as well, but I find that um, they're sold out a lot in certain models that you're looking for. Um, Number three, Pro Audio Star. Very, very good um, offering and variety of gear on Pro Audio Star as well. Um, coming in at number four is Adorama. Not as much as the other big box stores, but uh, they do have, you know, they're getting better in terms of the, the amount and variety of gear. And then, of course, it's Amazon. And Amazon typically has, again, a lot of budget oriented gear. But if you're looking for that high-end piece in a specific model, whether it's an amp or whether it's a guitar or bass or whatever the case might be, a specific color, um, odds are Amazon isn't going to be as uh, wide-scoped as these other guys uh, are in terms of variety. Now, last category, which is probably one of the most important uh, of the three categories, or very close uh, in line with the price aspect, is what kind of customer support and customer experience you can expect from these online merchants. And number one is Amazon. Now, specifically with respect to ease of return, if you don't like what you're buying, a lot of these other merchants will allow you a free return where they'll give you a prepaid shipping label to return the merchandise, but it has to be for a reason, right? a specific reason not as described or um, defective, right? If something is completely different that you receive than what they had on their website or they described, or if something is broken, right? They will give you a prepaid label that you'll be able to speak to somebody. But there is questioning and scrutiny involved in a lot of these other companies. Amazon is pretty freaking easy, right? In fact, on a lot of their gear, it states on the gear, piece of gear on the website, free returns. And it says pretty much for any reason. So... Amazon's at the top. Now, um, the, 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 the flip side to that with Amazon is if you have specific questions about that piece of merchandise, whether it's a guitar or an amp, these guys don't know anything about the gear, right? They're clueless. So you're not going to get that type of support. But in terms of ease of returns, the best. Now, on the flip side of that, again, coming in at number two is, is Guitar Center and Musician's Friend, where you're going to get answers to your gear questions because most of the time these gearheads as they call them are musicians and they know about the guitars that you're asking questions about or basses or amps or whatever the case is and their return process is pretty good it's not as good as amazon's but um it's pretty easy to return gear through uh at musicians friends or guitar center they have uh guitar center is 30 days i believe musicians friends i believe is 45 but pretty easy but much better phone support, uh, chat support, because they are knowledgeable of the gear where Amazon is not. Coming in at number three is Adorama. Um, very easy to return items through Adorama. They don't give you a hard time. Um, in terms of knowing the gear, you're not going to get very similar to Amazon because they're predominantly um, a video-based operation where they sell cameras video gear that's what they're known for that they also sell musical gear um, you're not going to get that level of uh, support if you want specific questions with the instruments you're buying however very good return process number four is Sweetwater and again at the very top in terms of knowledge they have in fact when you buy something from Sweetwater um, they have somebody that's assigned to you. A gear person is actually assigned to you as your personal gear advisor. And they'll call you up whether you buy something for $5 or $500, and they're 
and follow up and say, how are you doing? You know, of course, they're doing two things, right? It's good customer service, but they're also looking to find out if you want to buy more stuff from them. But um, so Sweetwater has very, very good customer support. Excellent. Right at the top. However, um, not as good in terms of the return, the ease of return as uh, Amazon and Guitar Center, let's say, because you can return items to Sweetwater. It's not that they will not. You just have a bit more of a process and a bit more of a lag, at least what I've experienced in terms of that return process through them. And then um, number five is Pro Audio Star. And this one is a problem in terms of support, only because you really can't get through to these people. Um, very difficult uh, for them to even respond online, if at all. I don't think they do. And when you call them up, Typically, uh, you're either on hold for a long time, you can't get through, or if you do get through, someone's going to get back to you. It takes forever. Again, you can return things. I have through Pro Audio Star. It's just not a very simple process, and they don't have a very good customer-facing or customer support process in place. So, summarizing the support category, Amazon, number one, Guitar Center slash Musician's Friend, number two. Adorama, number three, Sweetwater, four, and then Pro Audio Star, five. Now, this is my personal opinion based on my personal experience. Mileage may vary with something like this. So don't hold me to these. I'm just giving you a baseline based on the fact that I do buy, a, as you can probably tell, an inordinate amount of gear. Um, and I've had a lot of uh, transactions done with this gear. And this is my personal opinion. Would love to know what your personal opinion opinions are, right? Put them below in the comments. Let me know if they differ. Let me know if you uh, have experienced otherwise with anything that I've said or agree. But in any event, guys, I value your uh, uh, loyalty to the channel, stopping by periodically, checking out the videos. Really do appreciate it. Again, if any questions, put them below. If you find these videos helpful, please subscribe. And as always, guys, until the next time, be well and stay safe. Take care.